But also, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you about movies because we talked a little bit about Marvel before this. We talked a little bit about Blade Runner. Like, I think this is cool because I feel like no. How many people have ever asked you about like movies and shit like that? Yo, like, not not enough, man. It's like one of my favorite topics. You know, right, well, I just actually did. I did the whole MCU during quarantine, like in chronological order. You did, yeah, because I obviously I was seeing all of them as they came yeah. out. Um, but then I'm like, let me like do it in chronological order, and it was it was a hell of an experience. I enjoyed it. Did you what did you do like one a day? Like what was your or some, whatever? You... Some days I might have knocked out too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> wasn't much going on. Some movies kind of be a little like Thor: The Dark World. You gotta like Thor, you gotta, Thor, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. like hold your eyes open and be like, oh, yeah. I gotta finish this shit. Low key, even like a few of the Iron Man. Like yeah, the, Iron Man 2 was a... Yeah, because the, the villain... It's really the villains. Honestly, that's what makes a great Marvel movie. Yeah. It's the villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be a compelling villain or else it's like... You know, like one of them was... What's the, what's the dude's name that was like the fake... The, the fake Mandarin. terrorist? The Mandarin, yeah. Yeah. Like, what the hell? You just an actor? Like, you a drunk, washed-up actor? You know, that wasn't appealing to me. Like, you know, that's why Thanos killed it. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. damn, you... You fucking shit up. You fucking shit up. And I, and I kind of... <laughs> Fuck with your logic. I just don't got the heart to do what you do. <laughs> you feel me? Like I couldn't do that to people, but I see where you, you know I see where you're coming from. Like you making sense, but uh, you making sense, but you just can't kill half of the yeah. You can't kill half, half the universe. universe. I think um I fr- I literally just lost what I was about to say. But you're right with the but you know no Marvel brings at least they fix their mistakes because back then it was like a different different people were kind of running the show. So like once with the early ones you're saying yeah I think before Avengers. Two, there was like a committee right and the committee would take the movie and like chop it up and kind of make it whatever they thought the vision was mm-hmm. and then i think after avengers 2 that's when kevin feige yeah. like went to the uh, disney ceo and he was like nah we can't do this like this and then they he just took over everything nah, which is why all the movies got better yeah after avengers 2 see i felt that too yeah avengers 2 then it, it really they really hit their stride yeah so they got like civil war it was crazy Winter Soldier, Winter Guardians. Winter Soldier's crazy, Guardians. Yeah. yeah, they don't miss after that. Yeah, they don't miss after that. After that, <laughs> they don't miss. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They have the whole different team. Did you see Black Widow or no? Yeah, I did. You like it? It was cool. It was all right. Yeah, I like it. Few years Lo- too Loki, late. Loki stole the show. Lo- Jonathan Majors as, as Kang. <laughs> that was crazy. I was, I was actually just talking to Charlemagne, like literally right before I came here, and we were talking about how Jonathan Majors, one, for, for one, Jonathan Majors deserves to win some type of award just for that one episode. Two, it's crazy. He's going to play like 30 different versions of himself over the next like 10 years. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's, it's ill to me that, and that's what's so cool about the MCU. Like, it's ill that they gave us something like that in Loki, you know? Yeah. Like, they set up what we now know is going to be like another decade. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. of of a timeline unfolding, mm-hmm. and it's like they threw that first big Easter egg in Loki. It's like, oh shit! You know, you expect that maybe out of a movie, but like, it's just g'd up how they do it. And if you don't watch Loki, you can still probably like enjoy it still because it's not like after we just spoiled everything. For I you. know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, but it's like because you know there's people out there who are like, oh, I ain't gonna watch the TV shows. Like I have friends who are like, I ain't gonna watch the TV shows. I'd be like. Don't play yourself. Yeah, no, no, it's no. It's a good time. Disney dropped that bag for a reason. <laughs> they didn't buy all them properties it's like just to make movies. Like. They making the TV shows too. Yeah. And also you're, you're a Blade Runner fan because that's that's kind of where this conversation stemmed yeah. from because you were tweeting about it. Yeah, yeah. I like sci-fi movies in general. I mm-hmm. think um, anytime somebody's building a world, like I like, you know, I, I get into that because I think it's just like hella imaginative and, and creative to just, you know build a whole world and right. you know what I mean and everything from the set design to you know costume design and mm-hmm. it's just like just to envision a, a society and a world that's like Different. not ours yeah. yeah like that that to me just I just give that a, a lot of credit 